Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. I'm your host, Tammy Treyer, and you can find myself and my family educating on our faith-led preparedness, off-grid living, and homesteading lifestyle at treyerwilderness.com. Today is episode number 215, and you can find that by going to treyerwilderness.com slash podcast 215. Today's topic is an important one right now. You have heard me, if you've been following me over the years, you have been hearing me say over and over again that knowledge is power. However, I'm changing my tune on that. Knowledge is not power until you add action to it. And that is the important piece to that aspect of things. We can absorb and absorb and absorb and learn endless amounts of information. But if you don't add your action to it and actually utilize the knowledge you are learning, it's not power. I truly believe that, so I'm changing my tune. And I really feel during this time, you know, um, many of us, things haven't changed. But for others, you may have a lot of extra time in your day. And now is a perfect time to be learning new skills and uh, learning new things. One of the things I enjoy greatly delving into is herbal medicines and uh, foraging from the wild. This is that time of year where things are blossoming, things are blooming, and now is the time to get out in the woods. One of the things that we did just this past weekend was get out and forage morel mushrooms. Uh, if you have never tried morel mushrooms, they are like the steak of the wilds. You saute those up with butter and seasoned salt, garlic, a little bit of onion powder, and it will, it, it tastes like a piece of steak. They are amazing. Keep in mind, you cannot eat them raw. And that's the thing, knowing your wild edibles, knowing when and what to forage, knowing what to look for. I share that with you because the Herbal Academy actually has a new foraging class and I would love to see as many of you uh, joining in on that and learning that knowledge and adding the power to it by getting out and adding the action to it. Right now is a perfect time to be foraging different things as well as through the summer months. So you can find this course by going to treyerwilderness.com slash herbal academy. And right now it's $39.99. And I really feel that that is something that we should all have under our belt is knowing how to forage certain edibles from the wild. The more we know, the better off we are. The more knowledge we have and the more action we put to it, the more power we have. That's just one of the many things we could be doing with our time right now. I am so excited to hear much of our audience is um, getting out and getting their hands dirty and they're gardening and putting their victory gardens in place right now. Truly, guys, we need to be in control of our food for so many reasons. One, that we know what we're eating and where it's coming from. Two, that we have food. Our food supply and food chain is breaking down and it is important for us to know how to do things for ourselves. We've been educating on that for a decade now and a lot of people thought we were nuts and you know, what are you preparing for? We weren't preparing for anything specific, but we were preparing so that regardless what comes our way, we were, we were ready. And you guys always hear me saying as well that the ultimate level of preparedness is when you have God first and you're following his lead and you are matching his goodness with your works. We need to, we need to do our part. 
And that is what we've been educating on, teaching you how to fill your pantry, how to harvest from the wild, how to grow a garden, how to harvest your meats from the wild. We rarely purchase meat from the grocery store. On occasion, we will purchase um, organic bacon, um, organic hot dogs on occasion. Um, summer months are great. Those are a great thing to pack when you're out in the woods um, just to get out and have a good time. And we purchase chicken on occasion. We were butchering our own, but at this point we do not have our chickens. And um, hopefully we'll be getting some in the near future, but that is not something that we are able to do right now. So chicken is something, organic chicken is something that we purchase. But typically we feed ourselves from what we grow and what we harvest. And I feel those skills are so important for everyone to know. You know, we have a chicken butchering video out on our YouTube channel and it was flagged because it shouldn't be out there for all audiences, but I totally and completely disagree. I feel that our children should know the same skills that we do. Why should we eliminate them from, for one, learning skills that can be passed down, but two, knowing how to take care of themselves and, and to feed themselves and their families as time comes. Knowing these skills are so important, but again, until you add the action to it, knowledge is not power. You can have a zillion million books on how to can and how to garden, but if you don't get your hands dirty and your hands involved, you don't truly know the skill. And putting that power to it really helps. I talk about it occasionally on my live videos and in different things that I talk about. One of the greatest examples of that is lighting a fire. We educate on wilderness survival and uh, share our bushcraft skills. And you know, when you're out in the woods and you have a lighter in your pocket, a lot of people feel empowered that they can light, just go out and light a fire. But there's so much more to it. If there's wind, if there's not dry materials, if it's raining, if there's snow on the ground. And something we do is get out in all the seasons and practice those skills. Not just lighting a fire with a, a lighter, but knowing how to do a bow drill fire, knowing how to do a friction fire of other sorts, knowing how to use a fire piston or a magnifying glass and really fine tuning your skills, knowing where to look for dry materials when it's raining or, or snowy. You know, you neglect to think about all the aspects of things. And I share that with you because the same applies to every other skill you learn. The more you do it and the more you practice, the better you become. It's no different than anything else. It's no different than sports or anything else. And I want to encourage you guys to use your time wisely and to start delving in. And you don't have to do it just by yourself. These are things you could do with your children. And what a perfect time because most of you, I'm sure your children are home with you right now. And they need to know these skills. My son had the absolute best time in the woods with us. One of his favorite things was being in the garden with me. You know, kids enjoy watching things grow, seeing their works uh, flourish and seeing the reward. And gardening is a perfect example of that, is when you plant the seeds, you, you know, you work the soil, you plant the seeds, and then you see the plants growing. The, and, and then to be able to harvest the, the vegetables that you've grown. It's rewarding for our children and, and it's fulfilling. And although they still may grumble um, or they may not like the, the chores involved as far as weeding and that, but the mountain boy did. He really enjoyed being out there with me. And I think a lot of it too is the um, beautiful conversations and just time spent together. And we have so many different resources at our fingertips now than ever before. Uh, you know, with the internet out there, you know, previously it was a book or an encyclopedia. Now we are blessed with the internet. And instead of being glued to it and surfing social media, utilize it for the knowledge that's there and, and learn from it and put the power to action and get out there. And you yourself, as well as your children, learn these new skills. There are so many different amazing resources out there. Um, my girlfriend has an or organic gardening workshop. 
that you can check out by going to treyerwilderness.com slash organic garden workshop. And um, you will find all the links for everything that I'm mentioning today in the uh, show notes, which again can be found at treyerwilderness.com slash podcast dash 215. Another thing we've been talking about is doing fermenting. My friend over at the traditional cooking school does a lot of great classes on fermenting and uh, sourdough baking. Uh, so many great things. So if baking and cooking is something that's new to you, I want to encourage you to get involved in that. And you can find that by going to treyerwilderness.com slash tradcookschool. Being able to learn these new skills. You know, many of you have been thrown into the situation where you were used to dining out or eating a lot of processed foods. And now with everyone home, you might be doing a lot more cooking. My, my recommendation to everybody is to learn how to cook from scratch because there may be, you know, come a time where processed foods are not available to us. And that is one of the things that we prepare for. The other thing is we haven't eaten processed foods, packaged processed meals in 12 years. We strive to know where our food is coming from and to eat wholesome and very clean. So our pantry is full of all raw ingredients, the spices to make our, our salad dressings, the flours to make our breads and baked goods and pastas at times. Um, so being able to utilize, you know, those raw ingredients and make yourself things is really important. So if you are not a cook, it's okay, but it's something you can learn. And that was another favorite place the mountain boy enjoyed being was in my kitchen. He was in there from the time he could stand on a step stool, mixing up uh, cake batters and pancakes and just being in the kitchen with me. And it is one of his favorite things to date is to be able to cook. He loves to cook. So teaching our children how to do these things is amazing skills. And, and by teaching them to get their hands dirty and to get involved, you're adding that power to it. You're also inspiring great things in our kids, you know? So I'm working on a resource page for books. I actually have it out on the website. I'll put a link in the show notes for that. Um, but I'm adding to it because there are so many amazing books that we should really have in a physical library because that's something else I feel is really important and a way um, to be knowledgeable and also add the power to it because many of the books that I'm going to recommend have step-by-step -step instructions. Um, the Family Garden Plan is a perfect example and you can find that by going to treyerwilderness.com slash family garden plan. But there's other books, encyclopedias on homesteading and um, butchering videos and, or uh, books, I'm sorry, and, and books on, um, recipe books on making homemade sausage and, and different things for ourselves, being able to uh, salt cure meats. These are all important skills that we need to have. And when you have those books on hand, if anything were to ever happen to the internet, we have our resources available at our fingertips and that's what's important and that's what I want to convey to you guys the importance of thinking ahead thinking out of the box and preparing for the unknown uh, what we're walking out right now was a con you know never something that we would have conceived could happen and we need to take much of our lives into our own hands right now and I feel that that's something we should have been doing all along we have been and I want to in, encourage you guys um, if you up until this point haven't really had a preparedness mindset I want to encourage you guys to read Millie Copper's Havoc in Wyoming series you can find that by going to treyerwilderness.com slash Millie Copper M-I-L-L-I-E C-O-P-P-E-R. And you can also find her audiobook. The first in the series is now on audio and she's working on the others. You can go to Millie Copper, I'm sorry, treyerwilderness.com slash Millie Copper audio. So when you're out in the garden, this is a great book to be listening to. These books are clean. Um, they are family friendly. 
It is a cozy apocalyptic, and I feel that it's something that you could enjoy and read every night with your kids. And also discuss, because it gives you a lot of food for thought. A lot of the things that we have in place here on our homestead, the books talk about. And for the average person who is not typically thinking about preparedness, this will challenge your brain to start thinking a little further on those lines and to uh, challenge you to think maybe where you're lacking. And I really feel these are a great resource. I have another book um, that I will share with you on the next podcast uh, because I can't remember the name of it right now, but it is a fabulous book for kids, but it's good for adults too. And stay on those same lines. But guys, we need to put the power into this equation so that knowledge is power. But in order to do that, we need to add the action. And you need to not just be an armchair prepper or preparedness-minded person. You need to get out and get your hands dirty. Get involved. If you're looking for videos to help you on the process, you can go to our YouTube channel by going to treyerwilderness.com slash YouTube take you right to our channel. We have a lot of different playlists broken out for canning, um, for butchering, for harvesting meats, for wilderness survival. And for those of you that are listening to this podcast, there is also a Mountain Woman Radio playlist on YouTube. I record these uh, typically out in the wilds. Today, this is actually being recorded in my office or my she cave. Uh, it's very hot outside and I wanted to get these out to you guys rather than waiting for the perfect scenario and the perfect weather because this is important information. I see so many people delving in and digging into the knowledge and saving things for later. And granted, there's a lot of things out there. How do you keep how do you progressively go through things and learn things? How do you keep from overwhelm? You create a list of all the things that you would like to learn and you start going and delving into them one at a time. Pick something that really intrigues you or something that is seasonally um, perfect for the time and dive in. Plant a couple seeds in a pot and watch them grow. See how you do, enjoy the process read some books that go along with it. The Family Garden Plan is one of the best gardening books I've seen out there, and I highly recommend that, as well as her organic gardening workshop. And I believe I may have given you the wrong link. It's treyerwilderness.com slash organic gardening workshop. Um, again, all the links will be in the show notes, and I encourage you guys to dive in. But don't overwhelm yourself. Don't dive into too many things at one time. But enjoy the process, enjoy the learning, and use it as a tool with your kids. You know, it's a great way to keep your kids busy during the day. Gardening season is a great way to get them out in the fresh air, tire them out a little bit. You know, they'll rest. You can enjoy a book, whatever the case may be. But dive in and educate your kids and educate yourself and add that power because knowledge is power if you add action to it. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you gained something from this and I look forward to having you join me on the next one. You guys take care and God bless.